Unlocking the mystery. What does cleansing the aura mean? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language and culture. Today, we're exploring a captivating phrase that's been gaining popularity, cleansing the aura. This concept might sound mystical, and you're right, it is. But don't worry, we're here to demystify it and explain what it means, why it's used, and how you can incorporate this understanding into your English learning journey. So, let's get started and unlock the mystery of cleansing the aura. First things first, let's break down the phrase. Cleansing refers to the act of making something clean, removing dirt or impurities. This can be physical, like washing your hands, but it can also be symbolic, representing a purification of sorts. Aura, on the other hand, is a term that might not be as straightforward. It refers to an invisible energy field that surrounds living beings, thought to represent one's mood, personality, or spiritual energy. So, when we talk about cleansing the aura, we're discussing the process of purifying this energy field, removing negative energies to promote a sense of well-being and positivity. You might wonder, why do people talk about cleansing their aura? It's a concept rooted in various spiritual and holistic practices, suggesting that our aura can be clouded by negativity, stress, or emotional turmoil. Cleansing the aura is believed to help in rejuvenating one's mental, emotional, and physical state, leading to improved well-being. It's important because it touches on the belief that our well-being is not just about the physical body but also about our mental and spiritual health. In the English-speaking world, discussing aura cleansing is a way of expressing a desire for holistic healing and balance. There are several methods people use to cleanse their aura, ranging from meditation, spending time in nature, using crystals, to practicing yoga or mindfulness. Each of these practices focuses on removing negativity and enhancing positive energy. The specific method can vary widely from person to person, depending on their beliefs and what they find most effective. In conversations, you might hear people talk about going for a walk to clear their mind, a form of aura cleansing, or using sage smudging, a traditional practice where burning sage is used to purify the space and oneself. While the concept of cleansing the aura originates from spiritual practices, it has found its way into everyday language. People might not always use it in a literal sense but rather metaphorically to express the need for a fresh start or to shake off negativity. For example, someone might say they're taking a weekend off to cleanse their aura, meaning they need a break to reset mentally and emotionally. Understanding this phrase can give you insight into how English speakers often blend spiritual or holistic concepts into daily conversation, enriching the language with diverse cultural influences. And there you have it, a deeper look into the meaning of cleansing the aura. We've explored what it means, why it's significant, how it's achieved, and its place in everyday English. Remember, language is not just about words and grammar. It's also about understanding the culture and concepts that shape how people think and express themselves. We hope this video has illuminated this intriguing phrase for you and perhaps even inspired you to think about your own practices for maintaining well-being. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating topics with you. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.